If you hit really hard here and you get like a value of a thousand, then here you get a reading of 700, here a reading of 300 and A3. So, as I said, that happens because these inputs are not isolated electronically. To stop that effect, you every time you read, tell Arduino to read a grounded input. In this case, I've grounded analog input A0. So, what we do in the code is we read A0, which will give us 0, then A1. 
then A0 again, then A2. This will make the values from, say, if you hit 1000 here, except going 700 here, because you read 0, this will be kind of grounded and the value will be very small after like 30, 10 or even less. So that way you kill the electronic interference between the analog pins. There's an issue though, if you leave them an analog pin without a piezo, you must, must or it's a good idea to ground it too. So you don't have any other problems. That's about it. It's quite simple once you understand the mechanics of this. And I hope you have success in your drum making. And if you've got questions of I've said something wrong, you can comment below. Boing.